great day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, President of Western Armenia Armena Gabramian attended a meeting with Zare Sinanyan in Paris. Azerbaijan armed forces shelled residential buildings in Garmishuka and Tagavart communities in Artsakh. Ombudsman. Iran declares the Persian Gulf Black Sea Corridor will pass through Armenia. The Armenian threat to the Turks, what kind of relation does Ankara want to establish? It is planned to create a common aviation zone between Armenia, the EU, and its member states. How many Armenian ones were sold in the world in 2020? The Ottoman banknote against falsification of the history. As we have already reported, the RA High Commissioner for Diaspora Affairs, Zare Sinanyan, met with representatives of Armenian community and various Armenian organizations in Paris. The meeting was also attended by the President of Republic of Western Armenia, Armena Gabramian, who briefly presented general issues concerning Western Armenia and the events taking place around them. In his speech, President Abramian paid special attention to the Western Armenia TV, which is moving forward with slow but confident and stable steps to our Republic of Armenia. The television office is located in Yerevan, where among the journalists and translators of different languages also work. The news are broadcast in five languages, Western Armenian, Turkish, Russian, English, as well as French, which allows our compatriots living in different countries of the world, including Turkish Armenia living in occupied Western Armenia, to strengthen ties with their homeland and immigrants, getting to know their history and historical homeland closer. On February 11, shots were fired from Azerbaijan positions located next to the communities of Karmishuka and Tagavarti Martini Regional Republic of Artsakh in the direction of residential buildings. Artsakh Ombudsman Geram Stepanyan wrote about this on his Facebook page. He in particular noted that Azerbaijan is said directly targeted the houses of civilians as a result of which residential buildings were damaged, the walls of the house and the roots. During the same actions, the window of the house of the resident of Karmishuka community was broken, and the gunshot penetrated into the living room of the house, where there were three children and a woman. It is not worthy that the described case has become another manifestation of the periodic terrorist activity of the Azerbaijani armed forces in recent days. Iranian ambassador to Armenia, Abbas Badakhshan Zohri, told the journalist that the Persian Gulf Black Sea transport corridor will pass through the territory of Armenia. This is reported by the Infoteca 24. The Persian Gulf Black Sea transit corridor will create many opportunities not only for Iran and Armenia but also for all countries participating in the program. Iran is waiting for the completion of the study of legal issues related to the transit corridor. Iranian ambassador to Armenia, Abbas Badakhshan Zori, said he also stressed that this corridor has nothing to do with the so called Zangezur corridor, which the Azerbaijan authorities often talk about. The Armenian leadership in turn rejected the possibility of creating such a carrier. Recent polls in Turkey have shown that the majority of respondents see a threat from Armenia and do not want to seek neighborhood with Armenians. This result only confirmed the concern of Armenian experts. In an interview with Sputnik Armenia, Turkeologist Tiran Lokmajezian spoke, Turkish policy may deviate a little, but the direction is the same, and Armenia should not be on this path. In Turkish politics, the question is posted like this, Armenia and Armenian people should not be or should be under the control of Ankara. The current settlement process does not mean that Turkish authorities will change the attitude of Turkish society towards Armenia. Hence, the question arises, how do Armenian threat its neighbors against the background of recent processes of the relation, said Lokmajezian. The draft loan ratification of the agreement between the Republic of Armenia, on the one hand, and the European Union and its member states, on the other hand, on the Common Aviation Zone, signed on November 15, 2021, in Brussels, was approved at the government meeting. The purpose of the agreement is to create a common aviation zone, providing access to the markets of parties on equal competitive terms. The Common Aviation Zone also makes it possible to expand air traffic and develop an international aviation system. At the same at the same time, it is expected that ratification of the agreement will stimulate trade, tourism, investment and socio-economic development of Armenia as a whole, providing greater opportunities. 
In 2020, the export of Armenian grapes increased slightly due to the crisis related to the economy. Russia continues to be the largest market for Armenian wines. More than half of Armenian grape wine exported to this country. About 56% of exports go there. A little more than 30% is exported to the USA. The remaining about 30% went to the other countries, Ukraine, Belgium, Switzerland, France, Italy, Netherlands, Poland, Canada and other places. The volume of export to China is also very little. Note that these indicators are also related to only grape wine. As for other fruit wines, their production and export to Armenia have increased dramatically in recent years and even exceeded their export of grapes. The Ottoman Empire occupying the territory of Western Armenia was a multinational and Catholic state. The peoples living there surpassed the Turks in the initiative and create power, and the largest share of economy was in the hands of Armenia, Greek and Jewish citizens of empire. The influence of Armenian and Greek entrepreneurs is especially great, and among the numerous evidence attesting to this, there were also extant Ottoman securities and bank notes. The Ottoman gold bank note issued in 1880 and 1890 and put into Calculation best testifies to the above. The volume of banknote is written on the banknote in four languages Ottoman, French, Armenian, and Greek. It is obvious that the presence of inscription in these languages on the state currency was not a manifestation of chance of democracy. Armenian banks, trading houses, insurance companies, and other organizations of economic importance were spread throughout the territory of the Ottoman Empire, Western Armenia, and the money turnover could not pass by the Armenian people, which is why there is an inscription in Armenian on the bill. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.